In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use Cordova with Xcode. First, we need to install Node.js. We recommend opting for the LTS version, offering the best support and stability. Download macOS installer. Let's install the package now. Provide your password. Open the terminal and with the following command check if the installation has been successful. A version number of Node.js should be displayed. Now download Xcode from the App Store. Now we need to install Cordova. Follow the steps that you see in this tutorial. Copy the installation command. A specific version may also be installed. but it requires a different command. Go back to the terminal. Now paste previously copied command and press enter. Provide system password. Let's install our project now. In the left open the place where you want your project to be installed. In the right open the folder with the project. In the terminal type in cd and drag and drop folder in which you want the project to be installed. And press enter. Open this folder. And now open the same Cordova folder in your purchase product. Open the PDF file to get access to quick commands. Copy the command to create a new project. Paste it and press enter.
open the newly created folder with the cd command followed by the name of the folder now remove selected files and copy new files from the purchase product then copy the command uh, of the iOS platform installation in our case it's 6.1.1 in your case it might be a newer version paste the command and press enter Once the installation is complete, open platforms and then iOS folder. In the Xcode, open the workspace file. Your project will be loaded into Xcode. Now select its title. We'll now open the project in a simulator. Select the type of the device you want your project to be run on and press the play button. First emulator startup might take some time. Once the project has been loaded, you may check its functionality. If everything works properly, stop the emulator. And close it. Now we'll export our project to the store. Select the ARM64. We need to add certificates now. Debug certificate and release certificate, which is used to release the app to the store. The aforementioned certificates can be found in your developer account. Select Certificates, Identifiers and Profiles.
here you may find your certificates, IE of your applications, under device you may add your devices that then could be used to test your applications on. Under profile you may create provision profiles for your application. Provide your system password now. Select the application you want to publish in the store. Click Distribute app. Choose App Store Connect. Click Next. Now you may choose between sending the app to the App Store or just exporting the file. We'll just export it to our file in our case. Add necessary certificates. Press next. And the system password. And click export. Select the location to which our file is to be saved. A new folder containing the IPA file has been created. That's the end for this video course. Thank you for your time.